Chris grows more and more disgruntled with himself after the last few decisions he made within the business brains hurt the business as a whole. He realizes that he cannot handle the decision-making process on his own, so he decides to create a mandatory meeting with four of his hard-working, reliable employees, Kilston, Olivia, Hunter, and veteran employee Stavos. Chris then proceeds to tell everyone that he cannot do all of the work himself and that they need to step up to the plate and carry their own weight. With the group of employees feeling quite a bit insulted, Stavos, being Chris's most trustworthy employee, then proceeds to ask Chris what exactly is he so frustrated with. Chris then begins to explain to everyone that after he saw the brain sales were falling, he began to launch his own aggressive promotion campaign. After Chris finished his aggressive promotion of the business, he was still stressed out about the fact that sales were still falling, not knowing that Kielsten, Olivia, and Hunter were eat, eating, still eating the inventory. <coughs> As Chris was getting further in explaining how sales could still possibly be falling, Kielsten, Olivia, and Hunter then began to start sweating profusely and asked to go on an immediate bathroom break. While Chris and Stavos were alone in the office, Stavos then comes up with an intricate decision-making model, also known as the classical decision-making model, in order to attempt to solve Chris's frustration with the business. Stavos knows exactly why the sales are down, but since he does not want to make a huge scene blowing the whistle, he attempts to stealthily guide Chris to what is actually going on. Stavos then lays out the model and then explains to Chris that the first step of the model is to identify the problem. Stavos then convinces Chris to check and see if the inventory is squared away. Highly upset about finding an empty inventory, Chris calls a third-party delivery company to deliver more brain prep meals and complains to them about making late deliveries and tells them to not do it again. In disbelief of the extreme satisfaction faction that Chris participated in, Stavos quits his job and then meets up with Kielsten, Olivia, and Hunter behind the parking lot to buy some of the inventory that they confiscated. <coughs> Our timeline. We finished Milestone 1 on September 3rd. Milestone 2 was finished on September 24th. Our midterm presentation was finished tonight. Milestone three, we decided will be finished on October 8th. This requires us to develop another storyboard along with episodes and identify them. This milestone requires us to develop a summary for each episode and put them together into a booklet as a rough draft for the final. Milestone four will be finished on October 29th. We need to turn in the full crafted booklet. It should include introductions, the bios, a tab table of content, citations, an optional biography, the character profiles, episode summaries, which explain managerial concepts, the link to each video of the episodes, the general conclusions and reflections. In the final presentation, will be finished November 19th. It is a full compilation of the entire work we have done over the past semester. The work will be divided among us equally and we will be working actively until that point. We will also be adjusting it based on the feedback that we will receive from each previous milestone. Our checklist to do still is finish filming the continuation of our episodes. We will link along at the final presentation. The task will be easy because we have drafted the episode summaries and created an outline in the concepts within this presentation. Submit milestones three and four. Work on the final finger puppet presentation, which is our primary focus, and we will combining and adjusting all of our previous episodes in order to create a comprehensive show which will play out the various roles in management. 
and work on the final finger puppet booklet. Thank you for watching our presentation.